Okay. I had to share with you all something that I heard that is like, are you kidding me? All right. So I'm stuck at the airport, catching up on some reading um, because I've got a lot of time at the moment. Uh, my flight was delayed. I didn't expect uh, to be here this long. So forgive any background noise or anything you hear because I don't have my microphone. But let's get to the point of hand. So I'm reading, catching up, trying to, you know, make good of this situation. And uh, I read an article that said that Equifax fired 24 employees that they found were working second secret jobs. Now, I'm trying to figure this out. And I'm like, what? That can't be true. So I'm reading the article. It's actually very short. Maybe some more will come out. I don't know. And I'll link to it. I'll link to it so you all can read it for yourselves. But... I'm trying to unpack this because I'm like, so you legit have a whole policy that says your people cannot work a second job? Why? Tell me why. The other part of this is, what is it that is that, you know, one of the things that the CEO said in the article was, we expect our people to focus on their role here. What? What about your people? What about their lives? To me, this is a 110% show proof that these folks are tone deaf. Employers have got to get with the times or they are going to continue to scramble for employees. Yes, I know you had a policy. I don't understand why you had a policy, first of all. And I think what's happening is, I'm guessing, right? So you're like, my people can't have two full-time jobs. How can they do my job, our, our role to the best of their capacity and work a whole other full-time job? Well, people are doing it every single day, every single day. And they're not missing a beat, that part. Now, if you tell me that these employees were slacking off and they were not doing their job and you've had to talk to them a couple of times, like, cool. But nowhere in the article did it say that it was due to lack of poor performance. It simply was, we're firing them because we expect our people to be 100% focused on their work here at Equifax. Now, is that because you're paying them the executive salary that you're getting? Is that why? Is that why they can't get another job? They can't um, improve themselves financially? You don't know what these people might have going on. You don't know if, you know, why can't they get their money up? Why can't they do whatever? To me, that shows excellent work ethic. If somebody is willing to work two whole extra jobs to further themselves, you, to me, you've got a good employee. Because in order to be able to do that and do it successfully, you've got to be organized. You've got to keep everything on track. And in, or, in order to do them both well. Now, again, if somebody tells me, hey, they were slacking off. We had to talk to them however many times. I, okay, fine. Sorry, y'all, if my lighting is messing up. And again, sorry for the background noise because um, I didn't expect to be at the airport for 10 hundred hours. But back to my point. Stop trying to dictate how people live their lives. On employers you do not own these people which you know you probably did them a favor by firing them because why would you want to work somewhere that has this kind of policy to where executives can go up the ranks and up the ranks and I'm not mad at that I'm all about that executive perks and salaries but your people are trying to better themselves and you're stopping them and firing them like come on now that, but but what about you know the people got it just shows how out of touch some of these employers are People have children they got to take care of. People have parents and, and other people in their family they might be trying to take care of. Like, man, people are trying to put gas in their car, put groceries. Man, you, groceries are like double the price now. I don't know if any of you saw this, but I did, <laughs> I did a piece on a bag of wings that I normally buy. It used to be 20 bucks. The same bag of wings, they probably took some wings out. It's like $46 now. Are you kidding me? So you're going to fire these people because they're trying to basically beat this inflation stagflation recession situation that's coming on so you're basically punishing them for trying to find a solution in this economy that we're facing right now and that's not right 
That is not right. I think it's an absolute ridiculous policy. So to that end, I didn't read the policy. I'm not going to read the policy. Anybody else who feels free, carry on. But let me tell you this. I don't want to hear about, oh, they had a policy and the people didn't follow the policy. Understand that it's a dumb policy, flat out. Just period. It's a dumb policy. What they're trying to do, and they use their own software. So they have like this number works software. I, I might be getting the name wrong, but like, again, I'll link to it. But they've got this this software and they're they're using their own software to find their employees who have these second jobs. So apparently they fired 24 people. Um, uh oh, sorry, that's not good light. Uh, I don't think it's right. I would love to know what you all think in the comments, good or bad. You don't have to agree with me, um, but I am just thinking in terms of what's going on in our economy. Salaries are not going up because we're groceries are going up and gas is going up. So people found a way to make their salaries go up, and I commend them for that. Do what you got to do to take care of your family. Forget what your employer says. You know, I'm not saying don't follow the rules, but this one is a little ridiculous. Again, if they're slacking off, cool. They got to go. But if people are doing their work and making it happen, you you know, this is a little bit too much. Equifax is just a little bit too much.